Hi skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Uh, I'm here on a Tuesday morning at Stone Mountain Resort um, skiing these new 2018, sorry, it's not, not 2018, 2019 Rosignol Experience 88 Ti. Uh, really exciting, we've had the same shape uh, in the Experience series for a long time now. Um, and I think most of us were ready for a new one and we got it finally so that's pretty exciting um, slightly smaller turn radius more rocker in the tip uh, a lot more early taper in the tip if you remember on the old ski it had that extended side cut profile so the widest point on the ski was way up at the end um, and that's not quite true anymore uh, now you get this nice early tapered tip um, so still rips on, uh, on groomers um, you know, the Experience 88 has always been kind of a, a carving ski oriented all mountain ski. Um, definitely construction's a little different this year. Um, and I think that that retains kind of the improvements in construction retains its performance on groomers. Um, maybe even a little bit more energetic, probably definitely a little bit quieter and damper. Um, and, you know, I think it's a lot more manageable in soft snow. I think the old ski was at times a little catchy in soft snow. And, and this new one kind of cuts through the snow a little better. Um, so I'm going to head into the office. And we will finish this review back, back at the Ski Essentials warehouse. Um, talk a little bit more about construction. All that type of stuff. And for now, we'll say goodbye to Stow Mountain Resort for the day. But, you know, we'll be back tomorrow, so no big deal. Hi, skiers. I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. We're here today to do another 2019 ski review. Uh, this time it's the 2019 Rosignol Experience 88 Ti. Um, pretty exciting stuff. They've changed the Experience line. Um, we're doing another review of the Experience 94, so check that one out too. Um, kind of a new waist width with the 94, but we're going to focus on the 88 here. Um, let's talk. There's quite a lot of changes to this ski, um, and I'm going to run through them fairly quickly, as quick as I can, while still covering or doing them all justice, so to speak. So let's start with shape and then we'll go into construction changes. Um, some significant changes to the shape of this ski. So Rosignol calls it a progressive side cut in this ski. Um, and they also have an all-terrain rocker in it now too. Um, but let's talk, first let's just talk about kind of the, the noticeable differences in the ski. Um, to me the first noticeable difference is this tip shape. Um, you can see, this is the 2018 Experience 88, you can see how wide this tip was. It used what Rosignol called extended side cut. Um, this new progressive side cut, um, much more early taper in the shovel of the ski, which corresponds to more rocker as well. Um, so longer rocker, these are two different lengths, but I think you can, you can see the difference. So longer rocker in the new Experience 88, uh, much more early taper, so way different tip, tip shape there. Um, the tails, there's some difference in the tail shape too. I would say it's not as pronounced as the difference in the tip shape, but a little bit more early taper in the tail and a little bit more tail rocker as well. Um, but that tip shape is way different. Um, you can see the influence from, from the Sky 7 models. Um, they're more free ride oriented models like the Soul 7. Um, so definitely they've taken a little bit of influence from that ski and, and given it to this new ski. Um, construction then. So this ski used what Rosnell called carbon alloy matrix. Um, you can go back and, and look at this review if you want to learn more about carbon alloy matrix as a material. Um, it's basically a carbon, carbon application that it's kind of proprietary to Rosignol. Um, we've talked about it a lot in, in the Soul 7 and Sky 7 reviews too. So carbon alloy matrix remains in this ski um, and the 88 as well. Um, and the difference here is that they now have what Rosignol calls line control technology, um, which is a 
theme and technology that's carried through a lot of their skis um, with some different materials. So basically I'm going to do a close-up image of this ski, um, but the, the big, the key difference here, um, there's now a vertical strip of metal that runs through the ski, which you can actually see in the top sheet. Um, so if you can imagine a core, you know, like that, that metal is basically in the middle of the core vertically. So, you know, we see a lot of horizontal uh, metal laminates really don't see many vertical pieces of metal in a ski um, so pretty cool so the point of it um, Rosignol says that it reduces counter flexing of the ski which is basically another term for just decreasing unnecessary movement um, stays a lot quieter kind of gives it that stability definitely some extra vibration damping in this ski from the metal compared to the the old experience 88 which always kind of felt um, not chattery, but not like not excessively damp or not not very damp um, compared to some skis with more metal. Even just this single strip, um, that single vertical strip, you know, not much metal, um, but it, it went a long way in quieting down the ski. Um, and then going back to kind of the shape of the ski and what it does to performance. Um, I always thought of the previous Experience 88 as a wide carving ski um, with those extended tips and tails. It always held an edge really well, um, really long effective edge. Uh, effective edge is something that we kind of is becoming a, a key topic when we're talking about skis due to the amount of rocker um, and early taper. Those things both go into effective edge, but very long effective edge on the Experience 88, which sometimes made it hard to make different turn shapes. Um, this new ski, uh, the, it's got progressive side cut instead of that extended side cut. Um, does have a new tip construction too, which, which also quiets down the ski because it is more rocker in the tip, so they needed to kind of strengthen this ski and there's some reinforcements, much like this guy 7. Uh, but the tip shape, the rocker profile, the early taper, everything all works together in this new Experience 88 um, and allows you to release your tail edge much easier. Um, I think you can manipulate turn shapes way easier on this ski. Um, if you want to skid or smear or pivot a turn, it lets you where the previous version um, took, took quite a bit of skier input to get it to do that and, and didn't do it easily. It wasn't always easy to get the, the tail of the ski to swing around. Um, you can definitely do that a lot easier on the new version, which in my opinion makes it a lot more fun and a lot more rewarding to ski in ungroomed snow conditions. So moguls, trees, back bowls, that kind of stuff. Um, a more forgiving, fun feel in this new ski. And I think because they have this line control technology, which really focuses on kind of the center, the cambered portion of the ski, you still have a really a really high performing ski when, when you're trying to just lay down carves. Um, and it almost, I think it actually links carves better, um, kind of to, to focus on rocker and the tip a little bit here. Um, this new ski has a lot longer rocker profile where the previous version of the Experience 88 pretty short rise rocker um, and you really had to decamber the ski if you can see me decambering it the tip starts to rise off the snow a lot more um, so when you were linking turns you had to decamber the ski to really get it into the next carving turn um, and this this new experience 88 it's basically doing that first bit of decambering for you um, because the tip rocker exists without decambering the ski it enters into a turn um, a lot easier so totally new ski um, definitely some significant changes from the old 88 to the new 88 but I, I think they did a really really good job um, I think pretty much anybody that 
skewed and experienced 88 um, will prefer the new version and in my opinion the small percentage of skiers who might not you could make the argument that that skier is probably better off on a carving ski um, because if you're if you're basically spending all your time on groomed snow you might not need the ability to release your tail edge or maybe you really focus on linking carving turns like GS style carving turns um, to that skier I think there's more appropriate skis out there there's there's carving specific skis even from Rossignol there's some more carving specific models um, and I think that would be my response to down the road if anybody skis the new ski and, and doesn't like it as much as the old ski, they're probably really focusing on carving for their own their own skiing. Um, you can still absolutely carve on the, on the new Experience 88. Um, still really feels like a high performance carving ski when you want it to, um, but it's so much more versatile now. Um, I think a little bit easier to ski overall. Not that the Experience 88 was challenging really to ski, um, but smoother, turn initiation is smoother, a little quieter. Um, I think it, it inspires confidence a little bit more than the, the old Experience 88 because it's so easy to release the tail edge, or, or easier than the old version. Um, so pretty cool. Um, I think it was time for a new Experience 88. I think they're they're really following the demands of skiers nicely. Um, the modern skier, most skiers these days want more a shape like this than the previous Experience 88 because of that versatility. Uh, you can do a lot more with one ski or, or do a lot more, more easily with one ski um, compared to the, the previous version. Um, definitely, I, I brought the Sky 7 up here because I think um, there's definitely something to be said about how these new skis kind of blend the performance of the old experience and the, the free ride line, the Sky and the Sin 7, or uh, Sky and, and Soul 7. It's been a few years since a Sin 7 existed. Um, but yeah, I think they did a really, really good job. Definitely way more versatile ski, um, high performance feel still. Um, but they got away from kind of that extended side cut, um, which I think was a smart decision. I think uh, I think most skiers will really appreciate the the increased versatility in, in this new Experience 88. Um, so yeah, that's the Experience 88. Like I said, this is the 94. Uh, there's more skis within this line. Um, you may see us do some additional Experience reviews. Many more of those skis will be included in our 2019 ski test. Um, that's happening in March, and the results of that will be released in the summer. So if you don't see a more in-depth review like this on the different experience skis, um, you will see a lot of results from the 2019 ski test. So it's going to be a lot of information there, um, and in the meantime, we'll do our best to, to get on some, some other new Razzies and let you know what we think. Um, but pretty exciting, brand new Experience 88. Check them out if you haven't already. Um, We'll be skiing them a little bit more. There's a loon demo coming up, so if our opinions change or if we try them in new terrain and, and have something to add, we'll certainly let you know. Um, but thus far, we're pretty darn impressed by these new skis. So thank you. We appreciate it, and we will see you guys on the slopes.